We are back again for the second part of the preventive maintenance plan on the Swiss Nano 4. I invite you to go watch the part 1 if you haven't already. Next step, clean the counter spindles collet. For that, you have to open the collet, open the door. Position your Y4 axis between the guide bush and the drill support. And use the dedicated tool provided with your machine to loosen the counter spindle nut. Just be sure that your counter spindle is fully well directed on Z4 Plus. That will give you enough access for the next step. Now that your counter spindle nut is loosened, you can finish the job by hand. You unscrew the counter spindle nut, then you remove it. You have access to the counter spindle collet and sleeve. You remove first the collet, then the sleeve. Use degreasing solvent to clean the counter spindle nut, collet, spring and sleeve. Note that the spring was located inside the sleeve. Then dry them out by using an air gun. Use a shop towel or a clean rag to clean inside the counter spindle shaft to remove some possible remnant chips that could sit inside in order to avoid your sleeve to quit inside the shaft. Then take your spring, put it back inside the sleeve and put back the sleeve inside the counter spindle. Then the collet and the nut and tighten the nut to the counter spindle. Another aspect of the maintenance is to clean the intercooler of the electrical cabinet. For that, you need a square key to open the service door. To remove the door, you will need to disconnect the fan rack and to deposit gently the power cable inside the electrical cabinet. You can now Remove the chain and you can lift up the door. Be careful, it can be quite heavy. Deposit the door on a table or a workbench. That would be easier for you to work on it. And locate the screw that will attach the intercooler to the door in order to remove them. Don't forget to also remove the ground. It is necessary to remove the fan rack in order to disassemble the intercooler. To do so, you will have to remove the four screws that are sitting on the top of this one. Lift up the fan rack and disconnect the power cable. Now that you have access to the last Fischerson screws, you can remove them and you can now disassemble the intercooler from the door. Put the door away and bring back the intercooler. Flip it upside down to access the back of this one. You will have to remove the grid first. Remove the two screws that are holding it. You have no access to the internal fan rack is the one who should be the more gunky. You will have to remove the two screws. And you can lift up the fan rack after disconnecting the power cable. Everything is now disassembled and you can now clean the fans and the intercooler itself. Use air gun to do that. 
After everything is properly clean, you can reassemble the intercooler in the backward order. We have now finished the part two and I will see you in the next one for the third part.